It looks like the Houthis have a new weapon to use in their attacks on ships in the Red Sea. Iranian-made uncrewed underwater vessels, or UUVs. Basically, drone torpedoes. U.S. Central Command confirmed the new threat. CENTCOM oversees U.S. military operations in the region and says on February 17th, U.S. forces took out the submersible threat, along with three cruise missiles and a suicide drone. Downing cruise missiles and one-way drones is pretty standard fare for U.S. sailors in the Red Sea nowadays, but this is the first time CENTCOM says the Houthis used an underwater drone. Iran, on the other hand, has been honing its skills in the arena for years. In addition to a couple of mini-submarines, Iran's navy has some larger subs as well, capable of launching cruise missiles. But the Iranian navy is much smaller than the U.S. fleet, and relies more on unconventional tactics to try and affect the battle space. Tactics like unmanned or uncrewed vehicles. Whether they fly, float, drive, or dive, Iran makes them. In a video previously released by Iran's Revolutionary Guard Corps, sailors demonstrated the use of a torpedo-shaped uncrewed submersible. The UUV moves a little slower than other torpedoes. Some models appear to be guided by a wire, similar to how tow missiles used by Bradley infantry fighting vehicles are guided. CENTCOM did not elaborate on what type of UUV the Houthis used, but there's little doubt it was supplied by Iran. Maritime expert H.I. Sutton says based on his analysis of these images, which show a seized weapon shipment from Iran to Yemen, many of the components needed to make the Iranian UUV were included in the shipment. And it's not like the Houthis have any ability to design or deploy these weapons on their own. Without Iranian backing, the Houthis would have no power to speak of. So the use of UUVs in the Red Sea is just the latest example that Iran is stepping up attacks against U.S. personnel. There are now multiple reports that both IRGC commanders and leaders from Hezbollah are on the ground in Yemen, fighting shoulder to shoulder with the Houthi militants. While the presence of Iranian troops is not having Tehran's desired effect against naval vessels, commercial shipping vessels are much less prepared for the onslaught. The continued attacks on ships in the Red Sea are driving up costs for all sorts of things. Global oil prices are hovering around three-month highs, and they will likely go up even more. In potentially the biggest victory so far for the Houthis, a Belize-flagged cargo ship called the Rubamar was hit by a Houthi missile off the coast of Yemen. The ship, which is registered in the UK, was packed with fertilizer, so the crew quickly abandoned it. A Houthi spokesman said the Rubamar sank, and while there was no immediate confirmation of its fate, the British government confirmed the ship was taking on water.